Alrighty, let's see if I can do this. So we're gonna, well, I'll see if I can um, do both uh, combats. I've written out as much as I can ahead of time, so that way um, it should go well that way. I should have looked to see um, where I could pop the, okay, good. I'll pop, pop it there eventually, but not right now. So the very first combat is gonna be here, and then we're gonna go to there. Uh, and when I started, when I took a look at the uh, oh shoot, hold on, I'll go and put the strength points, which is kind of uh, apt timing for it. Because when I revealed uh, how many strength points he, uh, are at, uh, at those Russian positions, I was like, ah, oh, son of a bitch. And then I remembered, I'm like, well, that's because the Russians are playing hardball, they don't want to leave. And both of them have 10 strength points, and you're thinking, well, maybe that doesn't sound like a heck of a lot. Um, but with the 10 strength points and the fact that um, I need to force a retreat to get them to stop digging a trench, basically making trench entrenched positions, that's what I'm, is happening. Um, I need to inflict one third hits on them to force a retreat. Well, with the 10, I need four hits. Oh, this one's going to be tough, tough. Thank goodness I loaded her up and put in a combined attack with the uh, 11th Corps. So this is Schubert and the 9th, uh, 9th Army direct, these two, these two positions. The 11th Corps over here is going to be a uh, uh, combined attack here. I need, the, I need those extra uh, things. So the 11th Corps is going to be supplying, uh, using one, uh, one supply point to uh, fully supply um, um, their units their troops there, and then um, uh, Schubert here is going to expend uh, six uh, supply points here to um, to uh, do a fully attack uh, to fully attack there. And I'm going to go over them quickly here. So BG15 over here is from the Russian First Army of the Third Corps, and it consists of the 50th Inf Infantry Division. They have four strength points the 1st Brigade of the 30th Infantry Division, and they have two strength points. And there's the 73rd Reserve Infantry Division, they have three strength points. And then there's the 119th Infantry Regiment, and they're from the 2nd Brigade of the 30th Infantry Division for a total of 10 strength points. Which means the Germans, like I said, need force, four hits to uh, uh, force a retreat. The Russians are also uh, defending across the woods here. So that's going to be minus two to the Germans uh, roll, plus one to the defenders die roll, and who are they? And who, uh, what are the Germans using? So number twenty-three here over at nineteen oh four Tannenberg map. It's the thirty-fifth infantry division with six uh, strength points. Uh, the thirty-eighth infantry division with four. The seventieth landwehr brigade, which were they were just brought over actually with the lots of landwehr brigade to bump up those two extra points. Um, and then over here, number six, at uh, 1804, it's, this is going to be neat. I think this is the first time for any uh, major engagement, certainly in one spot. Uh, all three divisions here, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh, all four uh, strength points each are all Festung infantry divisions, which means they're all uh, newly... They've been, you know, uh, they were made from the garrison troops from uh, Charles Tortoise is in, uh, in charge of that over in Danzig and so on and so forth. These guys never, ever in a million years expected to see frontline action. And now they're actually going to be um, engaged in a pretty darn important attack, to be honest with you. Uh, so, yeah, that's, I was like, when I was writing it out, I was like, whoa, that's so neat. So BG4 over here, and like I said, is kind of like in a supporting role from the 11th, uh, the 11th Corps guy over here, and I'll look him up very quickly. Who are you, 11th Corps guy? Uh, uh, Kosh, that's right, K-O-S-C-H, that's right, Kosh. Um, and they are the 22nd Landwehr Brigade and the 34th Landwehr Brigade, and if after this, they're gonna be actually brought uh, broken up. One of the brigades is gonna be popped over here, and they're gonna move this guy over there, but that's not now. So um, I'm going to, uh, Take the strength, uh, the supply points away now, because I will tend to forget things like this. So we're using six. So that's going to go to four. Yep. 
and it's really, it's expensive, isn't it? It sure is. All right. And I guess now you guys kind of get to see how I use the uh, Alberto markers. I hope. Can you see everything? I think so. Maybe I should have zoomed in a little bit more or whatever. Ah, shoosh. God, I'm amazed, man, I'm able to do any of these things. I just drink coffee constantly. It's just, and I don't care how diluted it is, I'm still drinking constantly. It's just, oh, it's absurd. Well, it's a good absurd because I feel great. Um, all right, so there we go. Where's my sheets? So I think this is about it. I think I just have to roll and away we go. Um, yep, the 11th Core HQ and I've uh, do all the things. Uh, we've got 28 uh, attacking strength points, minus 2 to the die roll. And uh, let's take a look at the combat results table if you can see here, I hope. So 28. Um, it's not looking all that great, is it? Um, oh, shoots and ladders. Well, if, well, you never know actually if you get a uh, as long as you don't get a, well, you need a five, um, if you get a five or a six, uh, they'll force a retreat. Holy smokes, here we go. This is fascinating stuff. It's been taking a long time to get here. So let's see who, um, who's going to do it. Do the Russians actually, uh, are forced to retreat or not? Because if they're not, they're not going. Okay, five or a six. Otherwise, they're not going. And I'm going to check the uh, the CRT again. Trust. Maybe it should have been aware. Oh, yeah, it's just a bit of a shadow. Here we go. It's a. Oh my God. Ah! 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 Sorry. That's about as ridiculous as you can get. Oh my God. So it's uh, two hits. Um, holy cow. All right. So that's two hits. Let me write that down. So. Yeah, I've, this is, you know, uh, it was weird, even be, when I was writing this down way before, um, I was thinking to myself, you know what, I know that everybody and their dog is probably saying, like, look, I'm not, I don't mean you, I'm just, like, metaphorically, um, that uh, I, I've actually got a lot more um, confidence lately with the Russians, just due to the fact that it's so flipping hard to get any, and then they come January, they're in trouble. This, this, all this should have been done a month ago with the Germans. They're, like, it's just too late now. This is ticking way, it's ticking too long. And now that they're not forced to retreat, it's going to be an entrenched position. Oh my God. <laughs> next turn, like next turn, I, I flip the switch. It's, it's, it's a trench. Like, then uh, the Russians start, uh, they can remove those 10, um, if they still want to keep it at four, they can remove six strength strength points of troops and they get, and put them somewhere else. That's what I'm talking about. When you I start seeing that type of stuff, it's like that's the you know one of the beauties of trenches. All right, and uh, so there, uh, the, trust me, the Russians do not have any uh, supply points. I know that for a fact. I'm not even going to bother looking. All right, so it's ten strength points. Because they're unsupplied, um, uh, hold on, hold on. So I know one thing is it's, it's uh, so they're not forced to uh, retreat, so it's not going to be times two, it's still times three, but their supply, uh, their uh, strength points are chopped in half. Let's just make sure because it's, oh, that's like, man, we like, where are you? <laughs> or anybody else has played it recently. Good Lord. Okay. Units that retreat have their adjusted strength point total multiplied by two instead of three. Okie doke. So we go on the five table. Well, I mean, sorry, it's going to be five times three. So it's 50, uh, yeah, it's 15 strength points. Correct? As far as I know, I'm going on the 15 table with a plus one because um, it's half and then I multiply by three. Okay, yep. So, oh, here we go. And a plus one to the die roll. Watch this being a six, eh? Oh, pretty close. So it's a five on a 15. 
So they do three hits of, uh, they uh, inflict three hits. I'm not going to uh, do the whatever, so I'm just going to write it down for now. But the Russians were not forced to retreat. We're not forced to retreat. Um, they suffered two hits. Um, so I'll say Germans in, um, inflicted two hits. And German, uh, the Russian counterattack. attack inflicted three hits okay and I'll do all the D DR you know the, the DMs and everything else later okay let's go to the second combat let's see if I'm not um, destroying the camera battery looks pretty good okay so let's go to the second one jeez man this is uh, turning into interesting moments for me okay so you stay. Oh, brother, eh? If it's 0 for 2, it's not going to be looking good. And remember, they weren't even able to push push back the, uh, the guard Cossacks. Okay. So, second combat over here. At uh, 2003 uh, Tannenberg here. It's um, going up against um, the Russian 1st Army, a direct... Uh, they're in direct uh, control of with the uh, First Army there. It's the 51st Infantry Division with three strength points, the 43rd Infantry Division with three, the 57th Reserve Infantry with three, and the 13th Infantry Regiment, and they're from the 1st Brigade of the Caucasian uh, Grenadiers Infantry Division. What does this mean? It means the Germans yet again are going to need four hits to force a retreat, the Russians are defending across broken terrain this time, not woods or any of these things, which means the attacker gets uh, minus one to the die roll, but the defender gets nothing. There's no effect to the, the defender die roll. And who are they going up against? Just these guys here, number 81. And Schubert uh, is in control of them directly. And uh, it's the 22nd Infantry Division with five. The 35th Reserve Ersatz Infantry Division with five, the 3rd Infantry Division with five, and then the Konigs Konigsberg Ersatz Brigade with one for a total of six. And the Germans require four supply points to fully supply the attack. And they're going to do it with Schubert's last remaining four. Jeez, eh? That's the, t that's the problem. Let me go get a thing. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit more optimistic with this one because it's only a minus one of the die roll. Mind you, I did roll a... I think it's you. Yeah, I got a good feeling about this one. I think they'll get this one. Let's find out. Alright, we're all there. We're there. Good, okay. Boy, that was... I, I was shocked when I started looking and I was like, oh my god, there goes the ten points, uh, ten supply points right out the window. Alright, so what are we else looking at here? Um, yep, and the Germans uh, require four supply points to fully supply the attack. And I said the 9th Army HQ will do it. So let's um, see what they need. Um, okay, let's pop her back. Let's see if I can do that again. That's not too bad. All right, so they're going to need a four hits. Can they even do four hits? Uh, what an idiot. Nope. It's a 0% chance they can, do it. they can do four hits. Oh my God, did I ever screw this one up? Jesus Christ, Chris. What in the world were you thinking? You should have been, oh, well, it's too late now. Oh, brother. God, they must be laughing their arses off. Well, at least um, Running Camp is. Oh my, <laughs> oh, my God. I swear to God, they must have uh, 
They're, they're getting their explosives from the freaking uh, British munitions factory. Jesus H. Christ, this is incredible. Like, I find it, like, it's just amazing. It's like all duds or something. Okay, so what does 16 on a... Um, huh. Well, one hit. So they do one hit. They inflict one hit. Okay, doke. I'm going to have to write that down. This is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right. Did not expect this, I'll tell you. Jeez, eh? The big November massive attack from the Germans. Oh, brother. Yep. Okay, Germans inflict one hit. Russians don't have to retreat, and they certainly are not going to. And yet again, we go on the fifth on the uh, the fifteen table with a zero to the die roll. Okay. Do. And then after this, like I said, um, it's, I just take, I'll take a look at recombination and all that stuff. It'll just be like, um, you know, an after whatever report. And it's a five. And what do they do on a 15 on a five? They do three hits. So it's been a good day for the Russians. That's for or a good week. And I'm just going to make sure I make this out. Okay, I think that's it. Um, yeah, it's been a really, really bad day. Um, or, like I said, a very bad week for the um, the Germans. So I'll um, zoom out a little bit. I don't want you guys to have to see the legs. Yeah, that's uh, not good. Not good at all. So, um, next turn, there'll be two entrenched positions. Here, here, well, three. There'll be one there, one there, and one there. And there are other places being entrenched on both sides, but because it takes a month, um, it was there was no point. They were they were uh, starting to happen uh, after um, after November. And remember, uh, come December, I'm doing what I call the December truce, where everybody's going to take a pause for a month, figure out uh, whether or not they want to continue on with the war and so on and so forth. AKA give me uh, time to do some stuff and whatever. And uh, that'll be that. Okay, so that's more or less the end of the German or uh, the Central Powers turn and the whole nine yards. And now, uh, uh, after I do a little bit of um, administration work, it's going to be um, the week of the 18th to the 21st of November. Um, I'm, a, yeah, with the Russians um, off they go. Okie doke. Hope you're having a good time. See you later.